how to tell if you are losing your hair. So hair loss is a topic that I really don't know much about. I apologize, but that's going to be the topic of today's video. <laughs> Kidding, obviously I do know a lot about losing my hair. So let me just share with you guys my hair loss story. As I've gotten older, my hair has traveled from my head downwards. So my chest from, from here down, literally I'm Chewbacca. But <laughs> no, seriously, that's, that's my big stupid hair joke. Uh, I, uh, when Justin Timberlake says he's bringing sexy back, I say I'm bringing hairy back. I mean, you should see this thing over here. Anyway, enough jokes. When it comes to my hair loss journey, I started losing my hair, or at least I noticed it thinning in my, I would say like early 20s, right? Like 21, 22. Now I, I had, I mean, I was very, very lucky. I had really beautiful, thick, even wavy uh, blonde hair, like a dark blonde. And I grew it out to where I actually had kind of like a skater haircut where the front came really far down. I had the undercut. I mean, this was back in like the 90s, <laughs> you know, 1990s. And I noticed, I used to wear hats all the time, like a scully, like a ski hat. And I did notice that when I would take the hair off, the hat off, that I would see hair in the, like coming off. And I think what was happening was because the pressure of wearing it all the time, having my hair longer, bleaching it, over processing it, that didn't help much. So I guess what started happening was I know that my hair started getting, you know, further and further back in through here, and it was more like it was going towards going back into the corners. It started getting a, a bit, you know, finer and thinner on top. And then one day I said, oh, I just want to buzz my head. I got a buzzed haircut, and then all of a sudden it just started, it looked like it was bald anyway. So I said, oh, I guess I'm a bald guy now. And so I've been, I've been embracing this for many, many years as far as wearing my hair like this, shaving my head. If you've seen some of my recent videos, you've seen that I've been you know, wearing a hair system, which is a great way to camouflage it. And uh, I go back and forth wearing it, not wearing it, but there are options for guys who are experiencing hair loss and things like that. So how to tell if you are losing your hair? Well, first of all, I get so many comments from people and questions asking me about this topic, and that's why I wanna make this video. So I'll get people sending me photos of, you know, hair like this, and they'll have a little bit of a recession, like the hair goes back into the corners like this. And Steven, am I losing my hair? Well, I don't really know, okay? It depends. If you had a hairline, say, and, and like five years ago or whatever, and this part that was covered, it was covered with hair, and now it's no longer covered with hair, and you see it progressively going further back, chances are you may likely be losing your hair. What could happen is you could just lose the hair into the corners here and keep this uh, much thicker, but it's just gonna be, it's gonna recede quite a bit here. You can have areas in the back where it's just literally a bald spot, right? And you keep all this hair. There's different stages, there's different, you know, they call it male pattern baldness, different patterns of hair loss. But if you are in your 20s, you know, your early 20s and you've got so much hair, but you notice that the corners may be going back a little bit, don't worry about it. Sometimes it naturally happens to people and it may not get any worse. It doesn't mean all of your hair is going to fall out or like next week you're gonna look like me. <laughs> you know, just keep in mind that it could be happening to you. It's a genetic thing, it could be stress, it could be medications. You know, do hair products cause you to get hair loss? Not necessarily, you know, I have seen really bad quality products cause a lot of buildup on someone's hair and that in combination with a lot of heat and not, use, not really caring for their hair properly, that causes breakage and makes the hair just like look horrible. So you have to be careful with how you're actually, you know, treating your hair. But if you're starting, now here's another one. If you're starting to say, to see your scalp more, that's another one. People say, oh, I see my scalp. Well. It's obvious that you're gonna see your scalp. If you go like this and separate your hair, every human being is gonna see right down to their scalp. That's just, that's just natural. But if you start to notice, again, it goes back to the timing thing. Four years ago, five years ago, whatever it is, 10 years ago, 
and you look at photos and this was completely filled in and then all of a sudden now it's like really sparse and it's not as dense. Yes, there's a chance that you could be losing your hair. Doesn't, again, doesn't mean it's all gonna fall out by tomorrow. There is a chance you are losing it. And that's where I suggest, you know, I have my, my hemp shampoo and conditioner, my hemp set is really good. It helps promote thicker and healthier hair growth. My pure set actually blocks DHT because of the ingredients. It's got peppermint in it and uh, some really re great ingredients that not only are wonderful for the scalp, but it also helps block DHT and helps prevent hair loss, all right? So you need to start using products uh, that are going to help with your hair because you can, you can kind of prevent it from getting worse. So there are some things you need to be cautious about. Again, the myth is, you know, wearing hats. Does it make you lose your hair? Does it make you not lose your hair? In my experience, wearing a hat all the time did contribute to me losing more hair because I kept pushing down on the corners. My, it didn't give the scalp uh, breathe, any breathability and it just kept, I, would, I almost felt like it was like <laughs> forcing it to fall out, you know, which was, which was weird. That's my scenario. If you don't have to wear hats, then don't. But if your hair is thinning and you are somebody who wears hats all the time, then I would say be cautious. Also keep in mind, there is a difference once again between fine hair and thin hair. You can have a ton of fine hair. The individual strands are fine. Doesn't mean you're losing your hair. Thin hair, on the other, other hand, means there's not a lot of density. So if you've got very thin hair, it means that there's a chance you could be losing your hair or just that's just the way your hair is. It's really gonna be obvious. Just look in the mirror, compare to what your hair was like, just embrace it and, you know, like I said, there's options if you are losing it. You can look as good as me if you want to. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful, if I helped answer some questions about hair loss. Again, just don't worry about it. Don't freak out unless it's something that it's destined to happen. And if it's destined to happen, you can always shave your head. You can always wear a hair unit and look great. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon guy.